G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well here's really the story of the day for me that I found uh, and it is that family officers may now see Bitcoin as an alternative to gold. And this is from a JP Morgan report. So, you know, the big family officers, the Rothschilds and things like that, you know, from what we hear, they were really kind of anti-crypto for a while and who, who really knows it's hard to know unless you actually know the Rothschilds or you know some of the other big families out there but the thought that they might be getting into Bitcoin now and I saw some stuff on Twitter and I went through and I couldn't find it it was from earlier today uh, that they're talking about you know if these big families were to put in just one percent uh, of their you know total wealth they would buy up 60 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin now there's not sixty billion dollars worth of Bitcoin to be bought. I I don't think. Uh, I, I literally think that that would possibly buy it all up right now, and it'd just spike the price something ridiculous. So, yeah, very interesting thought, and particularly as uh, some of the people are now saying one percent might not be enough. They're thinking more now. Maybe five percent should be made up uh, of Bitcoin. So, you know, if these big family uh, businesses are to get into cryptocurrencies uh, you, you know they're very late to the show and they're going to buy a premium but it's what makes me think uh, it's just going to keep going up the price of bitcoin you, you know like no real big retracements for quite some time now i did read something else that uh, cash app bought more than three times the amount of bitcoin that were mined last month that is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, and, you know, Grayscale are still buying, and I'm sure MicroStrategy are still buying. I know they were having another meeting and talking about buying more Bitcoin, whether they did or didn't. I haven't been able to uh, find out just yet. But I just think the demand for Bitcoin at the moment is so big, the price is going to absolutely skyrocket in the not too distant future i think it's going to move really really fast i don't think we're going to spend too much time low and the thing is it'll just keep growing because as more businesses hear about it because this is just the really adopters the real sorry early adopters and again that will be considered the smart money they're only just getting in now so the general public, they're still to come, and that's where the, you know there's massive money from the general public. You know, once the wider public, again, they go to PayPal, and it's like, you know, if they're not watching the news, they're like, oh, there's cryptocurrencies, you can buy Bitcoin on PayPal. All right, cool. And again, that's not happening till next year, and then that's just the first couple of, you know, early users that are going to use it because. You know, again, a lot of people still think it's a scam and that it's, you know, funny money and it's not here. And then all of a sudden they'll see it on PayPal and they'll go, oh, that's a little bit weird. You know, they're selling it, but I still don't trust it. I'm not touching it. And then their friends will have bought it and then they'll talk to them about it. And then they'll be like, all right, well, PayPal's offering it. All these other banks have got it and my friends have bought it. Well, I'm going to buy it. And by the time they're buying into it, it's probably going to be you know who knows exactly how much but it could be a hundred and fifty thousand dollars or something like that again plan b's s2f model you know predicts it gets to somewhere between i think a hundred and two hundred and eighty eight thousand and look if big business jump on board and they sort of are but i mean they really get on board you know the big family businesses buy into bitcoin and you know every man and his dog starts to buy into bitcoin there's only a couple of million bitcoin left to be mined and they're going to take years and years and years. I think it's two, uh, th what is it, 2140 or something like that uh, is when the last Bitcoin is going to be mined. So we're still like, yeah, 100 years away from, you know, the last Bitcoin being mined. So they can't buy that until it's been mined. So that means there's actually not that much Bitcoin available. I think I heard somewhere there's around about two and a half million Bitcoin available on the exchanges and it's quickly, you know, going down. So there's not that much Bitcoin available and everybody's going to want to get a piece of it. So the price is going to absolutely skyrocket and you know, sometimes I think, oh, you know, we'll probably only get to maybe around sort of eighty to a hundred thousand, uh, and then other times when I think about that kind of stuff again, you know, big business still want to get in. They'll never be able to buy as much as, uh, like MicroStrategy did. They just couldn't. The price is already starting to ramp up. Uh, they've already missed that boat. I think MicroStrategy and Michael Saylor will go down as one of the greatest investors. You know 
of the modern era. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Shamath Palapataya and, you know, Tone Vays, you know, there's going to be a lot of people, but I'm talking about big businesses. His was probably one of the first to jump in. Grayscale uh, was probably, well, I mean, there's Pantera Capital. So there's a few businesses there, but more the mainstream, the publicly traded ones. MicroStrategy was the first. Then, you know, Cash App Square got in. And again, they will they will really benefit in years to come, particularly if they just don't sell, if they just simply hold. And then, you know, they use their uh, Bitcoin holdings, you know what I mean, to, you know, like through BlockFi and things like that. And I'm not saying they would use BlockFi, but, you know, maybe they would use BlockFi, I don't know. Lending services, you know, and they just rake income from it uh, that way, but they don't actually ever sell. Imagine what that Bitcoin will be worth, you know, in 20, 30 years time. As Michael Saylor said, and you know, we've got to take this with a bit of grain of salt, he has no plan on selling Bitcoin for 100 years. So I'd hate to think, oh, I wouldn't hate to think, I'd love to think actually what the price of Bitcoin would be in 100 years. I mean, I don't know if Michael Saylor is going to be around to see it. I don't know if, you know, half of us will be around to see it. But, the, you know, because they bought so much and they got in so early, I think they literally will go down as... He, him in particular, will go down as one of the greatest investors of the modern era, and I think his company's value will be astronomical in the future. Astronomical. The business itself won't even have to make that much money, and I'm not saying it won't make any money. It's a good business from everything that I've read and heard, but just their holdings in Bitcoin, you know, it'll ebb and flow for a while, but eventually it will kind of even out. Uh, and it won't be quite so volatile, but it will still continue to just go up in price uh, for a very long time. So basically, long story short, is I think uh, Bitcoin, if you haven't bought any yet, what are you waiting for? Not financial advice, just my personal opinion. It is going to get super expensive very, very quickly. And if you don't have some, uh, yeah, you're going to be struggling to get some. Now, Something else I've been looking at, Litecoin. Now I am somewhat bullish on Litecoin. Let's start over here. So we can see uh, this is Litecoin to USD. Now we can see it had a really big run up in 2018 and then it sold off and it's similar to Bitcoin's pattern. Pumped up, sold off, uh, pumped up, you know, and then we had the whole uh, pandemic and all the rest of it. And we can see it's kind of been leveling out here, but this is against the dollar. Now, I'm bullish on Litecoin because of its regulation. Excuse me. So the banks over in the States have been allowed to custody Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. I think it was Zcash, Bitcoin Cash and uh, Ethereum Classic, something like that. So there are a few different coins. And that's what makes me uh, bullish on it. Now, the price, uh, once we go over to the BTC chart, it looks like it could nearly be dead. So this is just against the US dollar, and it's not looking too bad here. It's starting to make its way up, but Bitcoin's moving a lot faster. Now, the one thing that makes me a little bit, bit uh, bullish about Litecoin is Bitcoin, it's a, you know, a finite supply, 21 million, and they've lost you know millions of them. And Litecoin's, uh, Litecoin is going to be somewhat similar, similar, similar. God, I'm struggling with English again. Late at night, I apologise. It's somewhat similar, except for there's 65 million of them. So there's more Litecoin out there, and it's very similar to Bitcoin. Not exactly the same, but it is basically a copy of it. Uh, and I say that in a good way, not in a bad way. Uh, there's more of them, and it's faster. So I think once you know bigger companies, Bitcoin just gets too expensive, I think they're going to start to look towards Litecoin. Now, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But I think that's what they'll do, and I think, uh, you know, they're going to see an opportunity in Litecoin as it's uh, still not anywhere near as you know sold out uh, and is scarce and rare, but it has that same quality to it. There's only 65 million uh, Litecoin. It is faster. Uh, it is immutable. You know, again, it's very similar to Bitcoin, but they can still get in and make a massive position in Litecoin over the future they can mine the backside out of it and re really build up a position they can still do that right now in litecoin 
it's a little bit late for that to happen in Bitcoin. So I have a sneaky suspicion that Litecoin is really, really going to pump in the next few years. I don't know how much this cycle, don't get me wrong, I think it will pump, but I think they will start to cotton on people. They'll be like, right, yeah, we've missed the Bitcoin train. There's not much we can do. What else is similar to Bitcoin that we can, you know, try and get a real good foothold in? Allah, <laughs> here comes Litecoin. So again, you know, it's just a, a theory that I have. Uh, I don't know this for a fact, and obviously no one knows it for a fact, but it's an interesting theory because, again, Bitcoin's really taking off at the moment and people are getting super excited. But when it just gets, you know, really, really expensive and then people are looking for the next thing, and businesses are going to look for the next thing. They're not going to want to pay $150,000 per Bitcoin. They may buy one or two Bitcoin, you know, or, you know, let's say more than a couple of Bitcoin. Uh, you know, it could be 10, 15, 100, whatever, depending on their sort of uh, available cash. But they're not going to want to pour it all into it because it's just going to be so expensive and they'll be looking for something else, something that's similar. And Litecoin is very similar to Bitcoin. Not exactly. There is differences, of course. But I just am somewhat suspicious that Litecoin in the future may become quite valuable. I think a lot of people are going to uh, pour into Litecoin in the future, but again, this is just a theory. I could I could be wrong, but particularly the big offices and that they're going to seeing that they've kind of missed their chance for Bitcoin, and they're going to go rightio. What else uh, is similar to Bitcoin that we can get in and build a really good position in for the future? And I think Litecoin might be it. So anyway, this is Litecoin to the US dollar, and we can see it dropped off there. The pandemic slowly made its way up, and look, it had the Bart Simpson thing. Uh, and then it fell down here. Now it's starting to make its way up. So it looks very, very similar to the Bitcoin uh, chart. We can go over to here and have a look at the Bitcoin chart. And there it is. Very similar, except for it just hasn't had its pump yet. But we go to Litecoin and look at it against Bitcoin. And it's just been going down for a long time. It has been falling by the wayside to Bitcoin for quite some time, basically since... Uh, the peak of the 2017 2018 cycle but again that's you know most things have done the same until lately and usually uh, Litecoin is an oscillator though uh, I think it usually front runs actually but I could be wrong I'll have to look into that but I know it's an oscillator uh, and it's not oscillating too well in comparison to Bitcoin so we've got to wait and see whether this is now going to level out and then start to make a surge back up because against Bitcoin, uh, it's absolutely getting slaughtered. But in the dollar value, it's acting a lot like Bitcoin. Uh, it just hasn't had that really big pump yet. And look, that could be coming any minute. Who knows? We haven't really heard a whole lot of uh, news about Litecoin. So that's quite possible uh, that uh, it is coming. We just haven't heard. Uh, everyone's talking about Bitcoin at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out for... Uh, Litecoin, I obviously have a bag, you know, I don't have tons, I don't have tons of anything except for the really uh, cheap stuff that I was lucky to get for like a few cents here and there. Uh, I would love to have a lot more Litecoin and again I am somewhat suspicious that this might really take off in the future when people realise that Bitcoin is just out of reach, it's too scarce and they can't really get in, you know, then they might be buying one or two Bitcoin for, you know, three, four hundred thousand dollars or something like that. They, you know, it's going to be hard for a lot of people to do that and big companies and that. And they're going to look for alternatives. And if Litecoin hasn't had these major pumps, you know, it might still only be a couple of hundred dollars or only a couple of thousand dollars. But it is very similar to Bitcoin. That may be when, you know big business and you know family offices and things like that start to get in while they still can get in nice and early uh, and build a really good sort of base in Litecoin. So that's my theory. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think Litecoin could become similar to a store of value in the future uh, and see really, really big gains like Bitcoin? It did back in the 2017 bull run. It did quite well. Uh, I think it went from something like $20 or even less uh, all the way up to, uh, I think, two, three hundred dollars something like that. So very similar kind of move to Bitcoin. Uh, it's just not doing the same at the moment. But look, it's acting similar against the dollar. 
Uh, it's just Bitcoin's moving faster and harder at the moment. So will Litecoin do the same? I don't know. Now, last but not least, let's have a quick look at Bitcoin. So we're up around that 15,000 sort of 500-ish dollar mark again. So we had that sell-off. Uh, and now we're starting to move back up. So it's Monday night here in Australia, and IE, sorry, not IE, that means uh, it is Monday morning over in the States. So we're gonna find out how the market uh, is ready to react to this. Are we just gonna keep moving up? Because again, all the buying that's likely coming in for Bitcoin, or is there going to be a retracement and a fall back down to the mean, you know, maybe down to 13,800? I don't see that happening. I think that's highly unlikely. I think, you know, making it down to here, uh, you know, again, it only wicked down there. Really, it got bought up pretty quickly. So, you know, it'd be surprising if Bitcoin was selling under 14800 based on this. But we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, this was green only two seconds ago, and now it's gone red. Uh, again, the start of a day, so we'll have to wait and see. But interesting times. Uh, let me know your thoughts about Litecoin. Uh, do you think it could become like Bitcoin and start to be bought up uh, and be used as a store of value? Uh, again, because, you know, there's still the opportunity to get in sort of, you know, early on Litecoin. Litecoin, I can't remember what year it came out. I think it might have been 2014 or something like that. I think just before Ethereum. Ethereum was 2015 uh, and Litecoin was 2014, something like that. So there's still plenty of... Uh, time left to get into those projects and particularly Litecoin being like Bitcoin. All right, let me know your thoughts down below. Hit that like button, please. Uh, it really does help my video get seen by more. I put out daily content uh, and I'll continue to do so for as long as people want to see it and also more, more than anything as long as I uh, really enjoy doing it and at the moment I do enjoy doing it. All right, stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that game train and I'll see you next time.